play this clip, then this is how it looks. This is my current backdrop and I'm going to show you how to change that. First, you need to select the clip and go to the color page. Now, once you're in the color page, you need to make sure that this is set to the qualifier and that you have this selected. Now also select the toggle mask overlay on and now you will be able to scribble over yourself. I'm going to draw a line here as well just in case and make sure that you're somewhere in the middle of the timeline so not at the beginning or at the end because we need to track this forwards and backwards. Now I prefer to use better because that will give better results and just keep in mind that if you want to delete one you can delete these strokes over here and if you want to exclude something you can hold alt and then draw a scribble like so and then this will be excluded now that we've got everything in order it's time to track this image by using this symbol right here and then the ai will do its magic and depending on your computer this may take some time and once it's done it's time for part two of this tutorial click the right mouse button here and then add an alpha output but before we're going to connect this blue dot to that blue dot, we're going to add in an effect because we will have a different backdrop and that means I want to have a drop shadow. I'm going to place that inside of here, close this one down and now we need to connect this green line to that green line, this blue line to that blue line, this blue line to that blue line and then this green line, you guessed it, to this green line. But uh oh, we don't see the background. How is that possible? Well, we have to deselect this toggle mask overlay and because we don't have anything beneath it, it will be black. So if we go back to the edit tab, place this on the second video track and then drag our backdrop beneath it, extend it throughout the entirety of the clip. I'm going to zoom this in like so. And then if we go back to the color tab, now it is visible. Now with the drop shadow selected, you can go to effects and then you can change the shadow strength, which you see happening over here. You can change the drop angle of this effect and you can change the distance and that will make it look more natural. Now, if we go back to the edit tab and we're going to click P and play this clip, then this is how it looks. Now I've changed my studio backdrop using AI in DaVinci Resolve.